Breaking news into 24-7 sports, Wake Forest is about to get QB1 back. Sam Hartman, who missed the first game of the season with a non-football injury, is cleared and likely set to start for Wake as they go on the road to face a Vanderbilt team that's put up 105 points over their first two games. Brad, what's the impact for the Demon Deacons in Nashville? Yeah, I was leaning toward taking Vanderbilt in this game, but with news of Sam Hartman returning, it's hard not to go Demon Deacons. He means a great deal to that offense. One of the ACC's top-end quarterbacks. You know, Wake Forest remains a legitimate contender for a Final Four berth, in my opinion, with Hartman back after winning last week. If you can get anything 10 points or under here, Wake cover, I think you can go ahead and lock that in because Sam Hartman, like I said, very good quarterback, top 10 player nationally at his position. And I know Dave Clawson and that Demon Deacons offense love seeing him back at practice. And Chris, Wake Forest, one of the preseason favorites to win the ACC, but those odds took a hit once Hartman was ruled out. What does Hartman's return mean for Wake Forest for the rest of the season? Honestly, the timing couldn't be better for Sam Hartman and Wake Forest. Clemson is up on the schedule in two weeks, and then it's Florida State right after that. And based on the way we saw Florida State open their season against LSU, those could be their two main competitors in the Atlantic for that division title. And Wake Forest has everything it needs to to make a run. They were missing their QB1. And Sam Hartman, one of the best quarterbacks in the country, unquestioned, coming back for them this early in the year is a huge boost, not only for their chances of the season, but just for team morale moving forward. Like, you need that guy. You need the team captain of the team playing for you every week, and he's going to be back. And it significantly changes the outlook of the Atlantic, in my opinion. I had Clemson as a heavy, heavy favorite in the Atlantic going into the year, especially knowing Sam Hartman was hurt. Now I'm saying Hartman's back. I think that is a much more murky picture, and Wake Forest has as good a chance as anybody to win that division. All right, Brad and Chris, thanks for your insight. And as always, stay tuned to the 24-7 Sports YouTube channel for everything college football, and go to 247sports.com for more news about this story.